application. And you know, I can use it just like a normal photo viewer. I can click on a, you know, a thing like normal, but I can also tap it with my knuckle and get open a right, a right click. So this is basically another dimension to, it's not just poking, I'm also getting a touch type. So the application, the application layer, gets a position and a touch type. So here, I'll do that again. Hope you guys can see it. So I can just right click with my, with my knuckle and I get open this little context menu. I can say, you know, post to Facebook and we're done. So the way they do this now is with kind of, you know, tap and hold or double tap. This is why copy and paste on your phone is absolutely hideous. And so it's out of input dimensions to use. So let me go actually show you kind of the raw underlying level uh, kind of data here. Is you know, I can basically get a touchdown and I can get the, re the report. Uh, in this case, we're saying uh, finger knuckle is kind of an alt click like you have on a mouse. But we can also do, for example, the nail. And uh, we can also take advantage. So this, is, this is a stock phone, just like your iPad. So it actually doesn't support a stylus natively. But in this case, we can do it. And we can also get an eraser. And this is entirely passive. This is like a 10 cent piece of aluminum. And the way we're doing this acoustically, primarily, we're actually doing a lot of non-trivial modeling in the phone's hardware uh, at a very low level on the arm chip. We're able to actually take some of the acoustic signatures and the touch elements and actually do this all passively. So there's no sensors on me, and there's one extra commodity sensor in this phone. So what I want to do is I'll show you one other, couple other quick demos here. So here's a, like a smudge application. So I can, uh, you know, draw like normal. I can also erase, and this again this is totally passive. And I can also smudge with my thumbs. <laughs> So this is, this is something that, you know, when you touch right now on an iPad or you use a stylus on your iPad, it has no idea how it's being touched. It's just all treated the same way. And that's a very simplistic view of how we, you know, humans use tools and how humans use their own fingers. Obviously, we don't go around the world just poking at it. There's many other things that we do. <laughs> Contrary to what, you know, Samsung and Apple might lead you to believe. So here's kind of our, our rip-off game here. So you've got you to squash the coconuts with your knuckle. You've got to slice the bananas and you've got to squash the berries. So, again, this is taking advantage of different types of, of touch uh, to kind of bring it into a game scenario. Just a little bit of fun here. So, you can imagine there's lots of cool things you can do with this once you have this extra dimension. And I guess, you know, again, these devices are very small. There's a lot of input contention. So the big question is how do you alleviate that small space by bringing in extra richness? And that's what this project is trying to do. So, on that line, thank you.